Om. Namaste. Welcome everyone to Satsang this morning. Welcome, of course, to all friends who are joining us from around the world for today's Satsang and each day of this retreat. So, huge welcome. You are not outside of our hearts, maybe in distance, physical distance, but in the heart, no distance at all. So, welcome everyone. And uh, let's see what happens today. Hmm? So, okay. Namaste, Guruji. Namaste. <clears throat> First of all, I would like to thank you for everything. Uh, oh, okay. Again and again. Although I know we, uh, or I can never thank you enough. I don't know if you remember, I'm the, I'm the kind of troublemaker from Zimar who lost the isness oh, there. Who claims to have lost the isness? <laughs> <laughs> It's a uh, very unique achievement. <laughs> uh, a lot of cha- a lot has changed since then. Yeah. And you, quite exactly as you predicted, even then, by the end of the retreat, something really uh, significant has changed inside. And uh, the space returned. That one that, that never left. Mm. Uh, and uh, gradually, I, uh, when I observed myself uh, as the formless awareness uh, and in relation to the space, um, <coughs> at first I was just observer, um, apart from the space. Yeah. And, and I had to remind myself as like, you know, Muji says that I am that. So, yeah, yeah okay. very good, very good. Because what you say there is uh, uh, is worth repeating. Because it's actually not that you're observing the self. It's not like that. It's, it's just that f- falls very easily into a traditional way of speaking. Because the mind cannot. It's always like uh, our uh, the functioning of perception implies a, a point where there's the the subject and a point where there's the object and so there's one thing observing another which is not the case when we speak of that now I, I I'm aware of I'm aware of the self that I'm aware of the self be careful the mind doesn't capture it and feel like I'm apart from the self being aware of the self it is only the self being aware of the self is it not for us to be clear about that because it can otherwise feel like yes now yes yes I am I'm, I'm aware of the self, so the speaker and that which it claims to be aware of are they two. You see, this is the only time that that speech is allowed somehow, but it must be clarified that it's not one thing observing another. In every other um, perspective. That case is true. I'm aware of my mind. I can see the patterns. I, there's a distance. There's a gap. <coughs> and from that space, we can say, well, if you are observing that, you cannot be that. Of the imperishable. These are words that uh, they don't touch it even. You cannot have conversations about that. You can have conversations up to the point of the I am. What I tell you right now, we don't even have to speak anything more today, even about Satsang. If you can take it away with you and marinate in that. Because it will be the mind itself that says, you know, yeah, okay, okay. And uh, okay, I've got another question. No. 
No. This is going to eat up all your questions, all your doubts. Yes, if you understand, at least if it resonates with you, then don't share that with another question. Don't touch another idea, because it will dilute the, it will appear to dilute what I've said, but it will only that dilution doesn't really happen. What will happen is that the mind and attention will go into a state of fragmentation, and you will not be able to hold on to the words I speak. What I say to you right now, it's like it's like you trying to dive to the bottom of the ocean, not be able to do it. And I'm gonna give you a big stone. You hold on to this stone and jump. <laughs> and don't let go of this stone. It will take you to the bottom of yourself, so to speak. The intel the intellect you may say, or the intelligence of the being is doing it. This is what I mean. Watching. This is the real um, weakness. When I ask you, can the weakness to the well, can it itself be witnessed? This you must also take, take into your cave. Take this question into the cave of your heart and meditate on it. That which you see in the world, that is engaged, whatever is engaged with the world, you know, can it be identified? Can it be observed? And if it can be observed, by what can it be observed? And your answers cannot be theoretical or mental. So, are you up for it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you.